Hello, fellow Minecrafters. I am here to provide you with my very first YouTube tutorial for Minecraft ever. My first tutorial for anything ever. Woo! Um, I start off by saying that the, my main motivation behind doing this tutorial myself is because all the tutorial videos that I could find to actually create something that wasn't a pain in the ass um, to deal with for power generation in the Direwolf 20 mod pack for Feed the Beast. Um, well, all the videos they went through the long boring process of showing how to craft each individual item that is necessary. I, however, am going to jump right into the good stuff and just tell you that, you know, from, you know, big reactors mod are these items right here. You need the turbine fluid port, the turbine glass, turbine power port, turbine rotor shaft, turbine rotors, turbine rotor bearings, excuse me, turbine rotor blades, turbine rotor bearings, turbine housing, and turbine controller. And then from the thermal foundation mod, you need the endarium block. Um, and um, a lot of people like to go with using actual reactors to power the turbine to, you know, for, for the sake of generating steam. Guy myself, from what I was seeing, they don't really generate enough steam to be able to bring these things up to like full capacity. Um, and if something goes wrong, they explode. I've been told by friends of mine who have played Forge and, you know, modded Minecraft and all whatnot, that they tend to explode and they make a big mess when they, uh, when they go. Even though that, you know, a reactor like half the size of this tank over here, you know, and it winds up leaving like a big ginormous gaping hole in your world wherever it was sitting if something goes wrong and it explodes. So, I'm going to jump right into this. Um, if need be, I am I am going through this uh, in creative mode just to give show you what you need and how to do it. Um, if you are playing legit and whatever whatnot, um, you can always like bring up your, your NEI nonsense over here off to the right. Um, and just like look at how to use this to see the recipes um, or you could like hover over any item you know any of the items that you have in your inventory and you know hover over it with the mouse and then press R and I'll bring up the uh, you know the crafting uh, recipe for that item <coughs> excuse me um, but I'm doing this in creative mode because every video I've ever found so far went through the long boring process of how to craft each item. And then they went into the craft, you know, into actually manufacturing, and the best video for me that I've found built the turbine about half the size of the one I'm looking at right now. And I had to do some Im Im imp improvising to get it functional at, at the size that it is right there. So I'm going to get right into it here. So that is a 15, I mean not 15, uh, 14 by 5 by 5 assembly. So you get the uh, turbine housing out. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then 3 in the middle. And 1... Do 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 Whoops. Alright, and then of course then you're gonna want to fill this all in. Excuse the creepy noises. Oops. Do 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 do. Alright, and then you wanna do one, two, three, four up. 
do to do to do do and then of course as you get those up you want to go ahead and do that yeah oh wait that's right though well hey don't mind me in my stupid moments and then you want to take and go ahead and bring this section all the way over woohoo all right got the frame done then next what you want to do i myself i have each one of mine just so that they can just to make sure that they actually have enough steam coming in um and you can put these essentially just about anywhere you want um except i like to space them um one apart like so so that way as the uh if you space them like right next to each other then these pipes the steam pipes would blend together and that might cause issues i don't know i didn't i was pretty frustrated by the time i actually got to uh dealing with that so you want to put the uh the turbine fluid ports you know like so um you could put them especially if you're only doing one i mean you could you, you probably could do them like all three side by side um and then just have three pipes like come up you know three separate pipes and they can all merge whatever i don't know I haven't gotten that far into it and then you want to take on this end all glass except for how did i do that that is yeah all glass and you want to take and put the turbine glass Oops. On the outside edge, um, I also heard um, a comment, I think, I want to say, in one of the YouTube videos, the other tutorials that I watched, that uh, you could also just do the entire thing with um, turbine, with the turbine housing. But on myself, I like the animation. Um, so on this end, you actually want to take and do all the way around oops, and leave the center open because you need to put the turbine rotor bearing right there. Now on the other end, for ones this size, you want to do like a layer or whatever you want to call it, um, three wide, leaving the center empty. Um, but of course doing it wrapping all the way around. Um, the next you're going to take the turbine rotor shaft and that's going to come all the way from there back to the bearing. Um, if you know anything about metal spinning on metal, obviously you need bearings and whatnot so that the metal isn't rubbing directly on the metal. Um, now also you want to put of course I'm building this one slightly different um, than I did those ones over there and I'm probably gonna, actually going to wind up re remaking those ones just to make like some sort of like nifty looking assembly or whatever um, you want to put the power port in and you want to put in turbine controller that right there will give you all your fancy little details um, along with your on off switch you got you know your the actual rotor speed, how much steam is actually, this essentially shows like it's the steam usage of the turbine, excuse me, um, and right now I have it, it's using exactly as much as is, is coming in um, water output, because like I guess you can also take it output the water because you know steam cools down turns back into water and this is your your energy buffer um you know, please excuse my nonsense of my nei inventory menu over here off to the right um the way i did it is i've got it like set you know like 1800 rpms um got it at 16 you know 1614 millibuckets per tick is about what the about, about the best I in my opinion um, maintain it at about 1800 rpms can yeah, it's producing 
15.5 thousand RF per tick. Um, like, I mean, yeah. Uh, of course, you know, that seems a lot to me because I haven't really done anything as of yet that requires anywhere near that much power. Um, but I am learning. And there is, you know, this is your on-off switch. This is, you know, your coils to basically turn the coils on and off. So the turbine would be going, you know, it'd be running, but it wouldn't actually be producing any power. It'd just be sucking up steam. Um, and this, the, the vent, I have it venting all exhaust just because that way it spins up to, you know, the RPMs faster. Um, and whatnot, but yeah, that's that's that right there is your turbine controls to turn it off and whatnot, blah blah blah. Um, and then there's I still haven't found a really good way to actually manage this, but you want to bust out your turbine rotor blades and put one down on you know each section of the rotor shafts on each side. Um, now the biggest reason that I had I went ahead and just did like my own improvising to actually increase the size of my turbines that I build, um, and of course I'm sure you could probably there's bigger ones out there. This is just for the sake of being like easy as shit um, and whatnot. The uh, the efficiency and whatnot is all based on how much steam you're able to put in and how many rotor blades you have. Um, each rotor blade can only take so many um, mill buckets of steam, and the more rotor blades you have, the fast, the, the more power the turbine itself will have. The more power it will be able to make out of the steam. And <clears throat> so that's why I went with building this this big, um, and then. The next step here is that you want to finish filling everything else in. Um, like I said, I heard that you could do it with the with, with the turbine housing. Like I said, I do it with the glass though, um, just so I can see the animation of it all. Do 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 do. Uh, thing is, is this can definitely wind up being a tiny pain in the ass because very like uneven surfaces and all that happy horsepower. And look at that! If you did everything right, it will turn. It'll it will it, will change into an actual turbine. Like as you saw, like you know the difference there. Do 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 do. Boink and bam. And. I myself, you know, like I use the uh, flux plated fluid ducts, and my I do believe those are like the fastest um, transport rate for any fluids. And for whatever reason, Minecraft classifies gases as fluids, so like steam, for example. Um, so it goes through a fluid duct, and this is the fastest speed um, fluid duct that. I'm aware of. If I'm wrong, it happens. Whatever, you know. Leave it. Leave, leave a comment. Um, let me know. Hey, uh, actually, this is a little tad faster. But uh, let's see. Transfer rate varies by fluid. This also carries um, flux. Also carries the you know, the RF power. Um, so it's handy to have, especially like if you're going to run power down to a pump, for example. But uh, but yeah, your next step now would be to take and you know you'd you uh, really hate it when that happens to me. You'd want to take and set your nonsense up like this, and whoops. Uh, do, 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 do. Just for poops and giggles, I am going to do it this way, just for, just for the ha-has. Uh, do, 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 I definitely have, like, 
what might be commonly known as a disaster area happening here with my assemblies and for that I do apologize I kind of like go along I just kind of run with things um, especially when I'm learning and then as I get better at learning the stuff I like reorganize um, like for example those were originally all uh, iron tanks now they're all steel because I got to looking at it and playing around and discovered that the uh, Higher, uh, the steel actually has a higher capacity. So set vent and turn on. And as you can see, it's spinning up. Uh, I don't know if I got the whole nonsense right um, as far as setting up the actual steam, but I, I'm not sure if it's the fluid ports that was limiting the steam input on my first one that I built or what. I just kind of Hey, let's improvise. Oh, hey, this works. I'm going to stick with this for a while. Um, but you can, if you, you, you don't want to let, if you, like, if you have enough steam input going on, um, this thing will just spin up and 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 it will, will like, fucking destroy itself. Um, to adjust that, all right, I need to options, inventory, any I disables. Woo, so much better. Um, you use like the shift and controls to do to do to do so shift and bam down one thousand um, whoops control to do it by hundreds and shift to do it by tens and then nothing to do it by ones whoopsie there we go Excuse my retardation. Oh, oh, no. um, but yeah, um, and this may not be actually booting up quite the same exact same way um, as my other ones because of different uh, steam input at the moment. Um, but I just wanted to show you. Woo! And if you did it that way, congratulations. You now have a ginormous freaking steam turbine that if you provide it with enough steam, will provide you with more than enough power. Um, and of course, there may be other ways to build, like to build it bigger or whatever, whatnot. I myself, I seen a video once, and they had these like you know f four, basically, and kind of like a uh, they had you know like that one there, and then this one was over here, and then one there, and then one there. So there was like kind of like a you know four way type thing. Um, and like a wonderful design, yeah, yeah, to actually make it look like a nice, wonderful, pretty looking machine. Um, the tiny downside to running multiple turbines is, well, exactly what you might think it may be. Um, you're going to run into, you're going to suck down steam a lot. Um, I bet you if I boot up these other three turbines, maybe, you know, w w within half an hour, these 20 million millibuckets of steam would be gone on each tank. It would drain all four of those tanks. Um, so just keep that in mind. Um, like I said, I, I don't know diddly squat about reactors. They do... I don't know. I've heard bad things, so I haven't bothered messing with them. Um, yeah, at the rate that that's climbing, I may not have enough steam going into it. I don't know. But, yeah. There you go. If you followed all that, you now have yourself a you know, pretty good-sized steam turbine. Um, from the big reactors mod. Um, leave comments in the comment section. Feel free to share your opinions. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, if it was helpful, give it a like. Uh, if there's anything that you would like my no life having ass to 
try and figure out and do a video tutorial on how to do, uh, leave it in the comments. Um, I'll do what I can to, to figure it out. Um, keep in mind that I the only mod pack I have is the Dire Wolf 20 pack for um, Minecraft 1.7.10. Um, I also have Power Converters mod and Engineer's Toolbox mod installed. Um, and that was just because, you know, I've got... I gotta, I gotta convert RF to EU, whatever the hell is it, freaking industrial craft power. Um, so yeah, have a good one guys, I'm out!